talking about how you can't move forward if you keep looking back, obviously, right? Through market research of living through this for many years, I've discovered that the more you look back or even think about the what ifs, you're just holding up the show of your destiny from proceeding. Trust me when I say this, and I'm gonna say this, forget, and I'm gonna say that again, forget the what ifs and focus on taking action now. Psalm 16 verse 15 reminds us of God's glory and his guidance in our lives. Some of us, myself included, have allowed past burdens to linger unnecessarily for too long. Letting go and moving forward is essential in life. James 4 verse 7 advises us to submit to God and resist the devil who thrives on keeping us trapped in the past. Remember, what is meant for you will never pass you by. And my darlings, the past serves to teach us from right or wrong, guiding us through our life's journey. It's not a place to dwell or take residency up. So get up, move forward towards your promised land, a land of abundance and fulfillment, a land such as milk and honey in biblical terms. Before I conclude, consider this. You refer to your ex as your ex because they represent what you no longer desire in your life. Just like a car has a large windshield and a small rear view mirror, there's a reason for that too. And the hands on the clock move clockwise, not counterclockwise. See where I'm going with this? So progress beckons you to move forward, my darlings. So get up and go and leave the past behind. And know that God is about to do something new in your life. It's beginning to happen right now. I hope this week's episode has helped you and thank you for watching. For anyone looking to collaborate, please send me a message. I would love to hear from you. That information can be found in the link below. And until we meet next time, remember to always stay glamorous.